thing is a way of introduction. My name is Anand Jagannathan. I'm the founder and CEO of uh, New Social. And this is actually my fifth company. I've had uh, two IPOs and one uh, sale. Uh, so I always have the startup fever. And uh, really, this came about, uh, I know there was an earlier mention of Drudge Report. And right now, Drudge is one of the most popular sites people are visiting today. And what does Drudge do? They recommend six to 10 articles on a daily basis where people go there and say, okay, I trust him, he's going to be the drudge. Uh, I go to drudge to look and get my political news. Our basic contention is that in your social network, there are many drudges in each area of expertise. We had the previous speaker talk about curation in terms of music video. There are curators in terms of sports, curators in terms of very micro niche channels in your social network. So we basically came up with a social platform, an iPad social news magazine, where you and your friends can create specific channels of interest that might be <coughs> specific to your changing interest. So right off the bat, we do start off where all the other news readers stop. So we, are, we you know, we Flipboard, uh, Pulse, etc., have built-in channels of news. So like that, we have over 300 channels of news on a wide range of topics. So you can see right now we just uh, created channels on uh, elections, <coughs> technology, top blogs, sports, uh, food. That seems to be the theme here today. Uh, consumer news, uh, we, you know, we had a great channel on uh, Baseball World Series. So all of these are there, and they span across a wide range of uh, uh, categories. So 300 channels across about 14 plus categories. All of these can be changing, so our channels keep changing all the time. There are no editors involved, Hill things an automated system. We set up the channels and normally they start picking up very relevant topics, uh, okay, news about that particular topic. What makes us very different is then Starting with that, you can actually create your own channel, you can share your own channel through your social network, and you can curate a channel. This is what makes us very different from all the other news readers. So in this scenario, uh, I'm following a bunch of channels that I've created, and in fact, some of my friends have created. Uh, in fact, we use this in terms of our own product. We actually are tracking everything about all of our competition. So I can see about 15 news readers, what's happening in terms of each one of these things, they are in a nice magazine format. It's doing all the work for me, and uh, it's on, and I'm actually it's thinking of it as thinking of it as a Google alert on steroids. It's actually looking at around about 15, 18 companies, all sorts of aspects of them, and bringing it along here. Now, in addition, what I also have the ability to do is I can look at. Uh, I, we also have a channel on content curation. Now, how many of you looked at the uh, Bravo TV uh, yesterday on uh, the new on this uh, startup Silicon Valley? You know, it's the hot uh, news item. Well, this morning, all I did was it took me two minutes to create a channel on Bravo Startup Silicon Valley. And right now, I can find out all the background gossip about what is really happening behind the TV show. What are the different personalities? What's happening in different every place there? I don't know. There is a lot of gossip. Now, reading an article is very simple. Is uh, <coughs> opening there. We do not violate any copyright because we always show every article in the context of the original website. So in this case, happened to be a Vanity Fair article and Randy Zuckerberg is uh, defending the choice of her uh, Bravo TV show, uh, and you can look at it. Now you can actually, from here, if you want to, you can post on Facebook, uh, if you, you can come back and post on Twitter. Uh, all of these things are standard. We can share this as part of the social network. But you also do something very different. I can take this particular article and say, hey, here's an article, just like the curation of music, here's a must-read article that you should read on this particular channel. So all I do is come in here, click on favorites and add that as part of the must read article. Now when I go back there, you'll see that that particular article has a little star there. So now, along the way, I have a group of curators and we always work, as, and I can appoint out my friends to be curators. Each one of them is selecting articles I should read. And if I want to just go and look at the favorite articles, all I do is click throw favorites and I can see all the must read articles on this particular channel. So that way, I've done the, the creation of the channel and the curation of the channel. I can also share a, sh share a channel very easily. The moment I click on this, it automatically connects up with all my Facebook friends who are using the same product. Uh, so our login is through Facebook. You can also log in through email. But with Facebook, we automatically establish the social graph. And as your friends start connecting up, you don't have to do anything. It will detect their friends. So I can come in here and then share this. And I said, OK, you know, I'm going to share this channel with uh, Shastri, who's one of my colleagues here, and Priyanka, who's also here. And I can share this right from here. And automatically, the channel is now shared. Now, how does it look up on their side? When they look at the home page, right on the top, bottom right, you'll see all the channels that have got shared to me. 
And in fact, Priyanka shared a channel on all the celebs supporting Obama. So I can look at this channel, and sure enough, it's going to bring up all the information. And it's current. If you look at it, it's bringing up the latest information about the various celebs. Now, let's say that I say, hey, you know what? I won't look at it, but you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of the boss. So I'm going to come in here and say that I want to look for any information about Springsteen. OK, so right in the channel, I'm going to look for this. Bank is going to go there. It's going to pick up all the information. And there's, this, there's information of Springsteen right up there. So here, and now if I want to, I can actually create a channel out of this and share it and say, OK, this is all about Springsteen supporting Obama. So that's the level of customization that you can do with all of this information. And for those of you who are looking, look, want to look at the late, latest election results, Shastri actually shared an article. He liked an article, and he shared it with me regarding the latest election results. And you can see that if you keep going down there, Obama is leading 173 by 173. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> yeah, so in any of these other news readers, you cannot create these micro channels, you cannot share them, there's no curation. So they are the editors. So one of the big problems is this. I don't want them telling me, they, they may not even have anything about the startup uh, or anything, uh, or it might be something specific to a car, or maybe specific to a Springsteen. So the whole idea is this. Typical news readers, there are a set of editors who thrust news at you. But if you look at what happens in a social network, you get one article at a time being shared through Facebook. We took both of these concepts as once of sharing one article at a time, let's use your Facebook social graph and share a whole channel of information along with the social graph. So you cannot do it. Our whole technology is built on a search engine technology. And so that's the key thing. You actually can create very, very micro niche channels share them, and it does that automatically. It propagates that through the social network. So you can't do that in any of the other products. Uh, two questions. One is that uh, how do you decide how many, when someone puts a name, how would you decide how many articles you put on the page? Sure. And then um, what's your business model? Sure. OK, good. So the first question was, uh, how do you decide how many articles you put on a page? And the second question, uh, I'll, I'll answer that first. So basically, what happens is uh, the, so we actually have a very uh, tuned ser uh, search engine algorithm. So given a topic, it actually finds the most relevant information for the topic using a variety of criteria. So it just doesn't do a, strict, a string search. It also uses the concept of time. So you see, always news is all about time. So it actually gives weightage to time. So it's a combination. Of, so we are always talking about something called timely relevance. So we actually pick a huge number of articles. Uh, uh, let's, say, uh, you know, let's say 50 articles. Then we actually have a layout algorithm, which then lays it out. And if you look at the layout, this thing there, it actually maxim maximizes towards images. So it actually, there's about six different uh, uh, permutations of layouts that it automatically figures out based on the best match and does it. And that's why you get that smooth look of a, a, as a, a magazine look out there. So we spend a lot of time. Again, as you mentioned, Flipboard had set the bar. So we had to, get, we had to catch up with the Flipboard. So we did a lot uh, for that. Uh, but every channel is actually highly tuned towards the search, and that's, sort of, uh, that's part of our expertise. The second question is on the business model. Uh, and so this is a freemium product. Now, this is the consumer product that's a freemium product. I actually do not show aspects of our business product. But think of this. If I'm a business, I want to create market intelligence about my competitors. I want every sales guy to have information about the customers that we're selling to, in, as, and so they have the latest information of customers. I want to know what's happening to my ecosystem. In fact, you saw some of how we are using it internally. For that, you create a channel. You want to distribute it through a private network. It could be LinkedIn. It can be a thing. We charge for that on a per user, uh, per month basis. We also have two other uh, components. One of the big issues is that many uh, executives, every executive is trying to create a social media presence. So in fact, at, at the Salesforce conference, uh, Jeff Emmett said he first started tweeting. Now, how do you start? How do you give them information? You don't want them to tweet, say, I went for lunch. So we actually have an aut automated system where he can pipe channels into a Twitter channel on behalf of an uh, executive. And he can decide that, hey, anytime I like an article, I just click on like. And it automatically gets tweeted out with the right kind of branding. So we actually do hashtags and think dynamically. We actually look at the article, we put hashtags. 
uh, and uh, so we have examples of that. So we do all of that. These are the products that we monetize. Free product is the consumer product. Okay. Uh, time for one more. So if I create a channel, can, can I take advantage of your classifier or is it just your articles I select for? Uh, no, you actually take you, you take advantage of a classifier. So there are a variety of ways of uh, creating a channel. You can uh, create a channel and say, I want to look at all you know 10,000 sources of information that you have. Or if, uh, and by the way, it'll be pretty good depending on how good your search terms are. And by the way, your search terms are any number of search terms. Uh, we have com uh, combinator logic and all that. Uh, but then you also have the ability that I can go into the finance and say, just pick up finance publications because I'm very specifically looking for Apple earnings, and you can create it. So you, you so. Everything you create actually build is built on top of the same engine that we used to create our channels. Great. Great. Thank you Thank very you. much.